Okay. Uh, hello there. Uh, I am Professor Qian Suo Chiao at the School of Modern Languages at Newcastle University. I'm here to uh, announce an exciting event coming up uh, next Monday starting at 2 o'clock in, uh, in the afternoon uh, at the Research Beehive 221 in, at the, in the old library building. Uh, four distinguished scholars in Chinese studies will come here uh, to hold an international symposium entitled Chinese Cultural Modernity, Critical Reflections. Uh, they are Professor Zhou Ziping from Princeton University, and he will give a talk on language reform in modern China. And uh, Dr. Susan Daruvala uh, from Cambridge University, and she will talk about uh, Zhou Zuoren and his collaboration uh, uh, issue. Uh, and uh, Professor Natasha Gent from Edinburgh University will talk about uh, media uh, and journalism uh, in contemporary China. Uh, her talk is uh, provocatively entitled From Modernity to Tradition. Uh, and uh, also Professor Michelle Hawkes from SOAS in London uh, will talk about state control in post the state control of literature uh, in post-socialist China. Uh, so uh, I, I believe this will be a very exciting event. And uh, after that, uh, we have a break at about 4.20. I will deliver an inaugural lecture for the Chair of Chinese Studies here at the School of Modern Languages at Newcastle University. My lecture uh, is entitled Western Universalism and Chinese Identity, Ling Yu Tang as a Cross-Cultural Critic. Now, this title, if translated into Chinese, would be something like Pu Si Jia Zi, Yu Zhongguo Te Se, or Zhongguo Te Xing. This is easy to translate. I think these terms are basically uh, uh, understood in contemporary Chinese. Um, Lin Yutang, uh, and as cross-cultural, cross-cultural, of course, uh, is kua wen hua, but the term critic uh, is very difficult to translate, actually. And uh, normally, we would say pi ping jia or ping ren jia, but this Chinese term actually doesn't mean much. Uh, that also goes to show this very concept, critic, is not deep yet in Chinese culture. But what I try to, what I will try to argue in my lecture is, uh, seeing from Lin Yutang's cross-cultural practices, his legacy is twofold. Uh, one, that he identified the critique, a peeping, uh, as a fundamental function of modern Chinese intellectual, and he acted as a critic throughout his cross-cultural practices. And secondly, his style of critique goes beyond this debate uh, this dichotomy between Western universalism and Chinese identity, which is still plaguing, I think, Chinese thought today. And Lin Yitang, of course, as you know, is probably the most well-known uh, Chinese writer and intellectual to the Western world in 20th century. And um, I would just, uh, in 1928, he wrote a very interesting, a very important essay uh, in both English and Chinese, actually. It's called The Function of Criticism at pr the Present Time. I just quote one line 
uh, which I will, 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 I quoted in, in my uh, will quote in my lecture uh, here. Uh, he says, "I like to think of criticism as the highest intellectual effort that mankind is capable of, and above all, I like to think of self-criticism as the most difficult attainment of an educated man." So. Uh, I hope to see you all uh, uh, 